Malcolm went to Mecca to see what he could see. He saw we all must be brothers and we must fight for liberty and we must fight for what is right. Niggas of the world unite behind what you know is right. San Francisco State College lies in the middle of a suburban community. Every morning, students leave their ghettos and working class neighborhoods in the inner city and commute by car and trolley to the campus. Most students there are working their way through college. It's not a rich kid's school. They get to go to the university. The state of California spends $6 on each university student for every dollar spent on a state college student's education. State college is designed for the lower and middle class working people. It produces the teachers, social workers, and middle level personnel for industry. In the fall and winter of 1968, State College was the scene of the longest and bitterest college strike yet to hit an American campus. The strike continued for five long months. At its height, the campus was essentially closed down, with over 80% of the college not attending class and supporting the strike. The so-called silent majority was not very silent. It was out on strike. Black students joined with other people of color in the Third World Liberation Front. Together they issued a set of demands. They demanded the power to change the class and racist nature of education. The education that Third World people need is one that sees the dignity and the worth and the pride of the people from which they come. Uh, one that will enable us to in turn go back to our communities as teachers and social workers, street workers, uh, and work with our people to increase and develop the level of consciousness of our people and why they live in poverty and why uh, uh, racism is continuing as a mainstay of keeping third world people poor, not just in this country but around the world. Third world students demanded the power to institute a new kind of education, one that would serve the needs of the black, third world, and white communities of San Francisco. Two and a half years ago, they began trying to get uh, black studies uh, instituted into the college. Started sending you from one committee to the another committee, committee, committee academic senate, 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 the IPC, the IPC committee, 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 I mean, like, uh, committee, there were a couple committees. committees, they even created a couple of committees uh, that they could send uh, the people to when they got their shit together, you know. They spent that, lo you know, that long a time, you know, to wind up in the end of September of last year, uh, being told that they had a Department of Black Studies, but they couldn't get any money for it since they, they didn't have any accreditation, and the college wouldn't give them any accreditation, so they had, they had essentially nothing. Black Studies Department didn't mean anything. I mean, that was after two and a half years of work. The man treats you like that, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> you gotta come out and call him for what he is, you know, I mean, he's a dog. He's a racist dog. You gotta take him on. You know, I mean, you either fight him because you believe in what you worked at, uh, or you let him step on you like he's always done. And, uh, and that's where it's at. <laughs> We have not moved on the level of abstraction. We have not moved on the level of conceptualization. We have not moved on the level of attempting to create something that was not there. The level we have moved on has been a level of need, a level that directly affects our lives and the conditions under which we live our lives. We have moved from the kind of understanding that we have learned in the community with the pigs come in with their carbines to put down a riot because the people were hungry. I said yesterday that the demands of the black students and the Third World Liberation Front are not discussable, negotiable, 
debatable or compromisable. Black woman, I'm a mother, and I have 15 grandchildren, and I want a courage that I can be proud of. And I don't think this courage that I can be proud of. I don't like the actions, I don't like what's been done, and I resent it, and I'm just a black mother that resents the things that has been done. As you talk about the beautiful America, and then I see all these men right here in the blue coats. Ha! Huh. A banker, when he forfeits closure on a mortgage, does not compromise. A factory that automates itself into, into the oncoming cybernetic society does not compromise with the workers. We are not going to compromise what is essential for us to exist and survive in the ways that we want to. We want the liberation of our people. I am the San Francisco Police Department. A person demonstrating here are unlawfully... Soon we'll be here. Hayakawa brings them out here. He says he likes to watch them. It's like a roller coaster ride. In 1960, 12% of the students at State College were black. In 1968, the percentage had dropped to 3%. This was not an accident. This was the direct result of the tracking system, the tracking system instituted by the giant corporations to fill their own needs. Under the tracking system, third grade children are divided onto two different tracks. One track leads to college and high paying jobs, while the other so-called vocational track which is specially designed for working class kids, leads to low paying jobs, unemployment, and the US Army. Each track has its own special set of teachers, its own special books, and they meet in separate classrooms. Kids are divided on the basis of IQ tests, tests which are designed so that wealthy kids will do well. Expensive educational toys help the upper class kids onto the college track educational toys that were too expensive for working class families to afford. IQ tests really measure family income, not a child's true potential. Thus, the chance to go to college is shut off for most working class kids in the third grade. The students demanded that the college be open to all students who applied, regardless of how well we did on a vocational track. But the corporate bosses who control education said no, their factories needed workers and a large pool of unemployed scab labor. Scab labor to keep everybody's wages down. to watching the pig than you do to uh, look at what is behind the pig in terms of understanding uh, what that terrorism is there for in the first place.
Tomorrow at three, at City Hall, Babylon's gonna fall. Right, right on. The only way people can be liberated from the oppression and the racism that is inflicted upon them is to confront directly the kind of oppressors that were represented by puppets like Hayakawa and by puppets like Regan for the real power that directs and controls the positions that they hold. The, the real power that is represented in the individuals like Dudley Swim on the Board of Trustees, who has part of a $450 million uh, corporation with interests in Venezuela, Peru, and Central America. The kind of man who benefits from Santo Domingo and from Vietnam. The kind of people with the real kind of power that have created the racism that existed in this country and that have maintained the oppression of the poor people throughout the world. The kind of power we want is real power. Power to directly control and direct our lives. Join the picket line. Come on, let's move it this way. Join the picket line. Racism is used to keep the working man divided. Big business, big government know full well that a society divided on race is easier to control than a society divided along class lines. Hippies, communist agitators, handful dissident, radical, rebel, fucked up students everywhere. Got hair. They all got hair. It's gone out here. Well, in taking this job, what I really thought I was doing was to make a stand against anarchy. I am Way. That kiss, high up call his ass. Go kiss his ass. That's what they're teaching in class. Example, I have fully vested in me by the state of California as a peace officer. I hereby command you in the name of the people of the state. What you know is right, not black or white, but wrong or right. Do what you gotta do. Don't be a blue meanie too. Don't be a meanie too. The meanies are waiting for you. 
the minis in the world. The blue minis are loose. The blue minis are loose. They're coming after us. You and me, sons of liberty. Policemen in San Francisco Department are friendly, but these happen to be 50 of the friendliest we have. I've heard a hundred accusations of police brutality. You've investigated all of them, and 99% of them appear to be false. But just remember, Mr. Davis, there is no pretty way of making an arrest. No pretty way. Now, there are too many people who have a hang up on police. And we are not going to be catering to that little prejudice of anybody. And there are those who espouse violence with the power to put an end to this whole violence thing immediately, and they're choosing not to do it. The ruling class, you know, I mean, they don't, they don't give a damn about their pigs anyway. As far as they're concerned, fire. If students want to throw rocks at the pigs, that's okay. As long as the next morning at 9 a.m., they were in their classes, listening to the ruling class ideology, and accepting the false information and all of the false value system because just throwing rocks at, at pigs doesn't challenge that. <laughs> Don't cross this line. You're scabbing if you cross this line. This is a legally constituted picket line. You're scabbing on your fellow teachers, your fellow students. As the campus community began to struggle together, real human relationships replaced the old, sterile, authoritarian relationships of the past. We began to see that they too were oppressed by the same system that the third world students were fighting. They were all people without power without the power to affect the institutions that they were working under. After six weeks of the student strike, the faculty union, the AFT, went out on strike with Labor Council sanctions. Please join the picket lines at large with us. As they fought for the student demands and their own set of trade union demands, they stopped thinking of themselves as professionals and began to see and understand what unions were all about. The AFT faced the same type of repression that union men knew full well. The police, the politicians, the scabs, the press distorting their struggle, and impartial courts handing down injunctions in an attempt to break the strike. Would you identify yourself? I want to know who you are. I want to see all of your credentials. Department of Justice. We're, we're representing the trustees, the, the state colleges in this thing. I'm serving you with a temporary restraining order in an order to show cause issued in the Superior Court of the state of San Francisco, and you are John Doe number 28. Sir. Am I to understand you're only doing your duty? Yes, sir. You are only doing your duty, is that correct? Oh. Yes, sir. Just like Eichmann did his, is that correct? And you are John Doe number 29. James. And you are John Doe number 30. Eichmann 1, Eichmann 2, you like me to do? Unite, unite, unite. It's time to unite, niggers of the world. Unite. That's you and me. You and me. Are you free? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on to class. Learn the academic way to kiss Ronnie's ass. He's waiting for you. Hayako is there too. Waiting for all that one order to come marching through. They're after you. You know they're after you. Is they're determined to at least carry out some type of educational process. They are trying to teach us political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. But they're gonna fall. They're gonna fall. The will of the people is greater than the technology of the man. Huey Newton said that. Huey Newton said that. About you and me. Sons of liberty.